In this video we will see how trackers are calculated and optimized over the terrain verifying compliance with the project criteria. First let's calculate for each tracker its alignment terrain longitudinal section and grade the files of which are stored in a MDT segment to do this run the corresponding command and select all the zones. Next way are going to label the slopes and elevation differences of the trackers. We zoom in and see that the longitudinal and transverse slopes as well as the differences in elevation have been labeled in different layers incorrect values are displayed in a different color and larger font as seen with the slope in red or the maximum elevation jump in magenta. We can also display a list of trackers to examine how many you have marked as incorrect and even select those that do not meet each of the criteria. In addition the app graphically prominently points out trackers that have some errors. The layer control command allows us to activate and deactivate the representation of the different elements of the project. Now let's show the jumps between consecutive trackers. We see in this area that some values exceed the 50 cm that we established as the maximum jump in the zone properties. To solve this we run the command to adjust the north-south elevation difference globally. The message indicates that six issues have been fixed and it is noted that the texts are now smaller and in blue. In layer control they enable longitudinal slope errors. As before values with a slope of more than 10% are highlighted. We run the tool to change the slopes of the tracker where we assign the maximum value and decide to keep the initial vertices of the trackers fixed this time we select each of the trackers individually and we check that the issues are resolved. Next, we're going to check the elevation differences, which we activate using the layer control. We found that in some poles there are issues that will involve clearing or embankment on the ground, the values of which are indicated graphically. The optimize command searches for the optimal slope of the grade to minimize or avoid earthwork if possible, 
we chose the option to apply it to all trackers with this issue and wait for the completion of the process. It shows the number of trackers that were optimized and how many could not be optimized. Finally, we check the list of trackers again. We select one of the ones that do not comply by tolerance and consult its properties. We check the profile, and indeed there is part of the ground that does not comply with the positive and negative tolerances. For these trackers, it will be necessary to carry out earthworks.